What's up YouTube? This video is mainly for Eric Han. Um, he asked me um, in one of my comments, but I figured I'd just go ahead and make a video on it. Um, why some Zippos have different looking hinges. And um, you might be thinking to yourself, if you only have like high polished Zippos, um, what are you talking about? I haven't seen any differences in hinges. Well, I will go ahead and show you um, what both he and I have both noticed because I noticed this um, as soon as I got my Zippo um, from Smoky Mountain Knife Works and noticed this. As you can see, normally on a Zippo, the corners of these hinges are at an angle. And on this one, they're sharp and crisp, which is what he was mentioning. And he was asking me because I think he has the exact same lighter that I have here that I picked up at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I was carrying this for a short period of time, but then I quit. Eventually, I will, it will be back in my rotation. But um, for now, I'm sticking with my Armor Solid Silver Zippo as my EDC. But um, we can go ahead and compare the two. And as you can see, these ones are a lot more smoother and curved at an angle, which you can really see when you start to look at the Zippo like this, if I can get the camera to focus. There we go. You see that? That's a noticeable difference. And the conclusion that I have come to um, about this is... This is a tumbled brass, this is high polish, so is this one, my cannabis Zippo, it has the same thing, um, along with my high polish brass Zippo, it also has the same thing. Any one, even the brush chrome normal Zippos um, have high polish sides. What I think, at least, to be the explanation for this is at Zippo, they have a buffing wheel where they polish all their lighters, um, even the solid silvers and shit like that. And, but with this, um, they just make the case um, raw brass and then just quick tumble. And as you can see, the tumbling isn't even done um, very, very much because mine is actually starting to wear off in places and just turn into a regular brass Zippo, which um, I was actually surprised about um, when I was carrying this, but with these, they are run across buffing series of buffing wheels, and that I'm pretty sure these are brass um, hinges on here wears off some of the brass um, on your Zippo because Zippo is not going to put a solid silver hinge on a silver Zippo because silver is too soft to actually make a durable, lasting hinge out of. So even um, the solid silver Zippos, I do believe, have brass hinges but that is the reason why guys they are a little bit um at an angle on their high polish and brush chrome and even some other models like the um antique copper which i should have gotten out for this video but um forgot to actually grab it out of the shoe box that i keep my zippo collection in so fortunately i won't be able to show that one in this video but, um, yeah, guys, that's the reason why, at least that I can think of. This might not be the actual reason. I really don't know because I don't actually work at Zippo. But if I had to guess, that's the reason why. Because this one is not actually ran um, through a buffing wheel. And for all I know, they might take both these pieces before they actually put it together, run it through the um, tumbled brass machine, and then put a fresh hinge on there because when they replace these hinges that's another thing to mention eric um when they replace these hinges at their factory if it's so damaged to the point where they can't reuse the hinge they will send you a fresh new hinge like this and it won't look like the one that comes on here that's um at an angle on both ends it'll be um completely sharp and crisp like this because my cousin's black matte zippo um, even the black matte Zippos, they're pretty much just a regular brass uh, canned bottom Zippo. 
and what they do. And actually, here, I'll go grab it real quick to show you guys. If I can find it, here it is. This one was actually laying out. They have to polish these without putting any um, protective coating like they put on these. They put, um, or well, they don't put anything on these. They pretty much just polish them and then paint them with the black matte finish. And again, during that polishing process, I'm guessing that's what wears down the edges. But my cousin Zippo, which was my original first black matte ever, black matte Zippo, which I think was the third or fourth Zippo I ever bought, um, he damaged it to the point where the hinge wasn't reusable at Zippo, so they put a crisp new hinge on there, re-welded the hinge on, of course they removed some of the um, black matte finish when they did that, but um, they send you a notice anytime they have to do that. But that is why, guys, um, that your Zippo um, might have a hinge like this, if either it's been replaced um, at Zippo, if it's been damaged to the point where they can't um, reuse that hinge, then they'll just send you a replacement. Uh, they won't bother with uh, repolishing, you know, the edges or anything, because in the Zippo warranty itself, it states they do not cover um, the finish. They only cover the functionality of the lighter, which is perfectly acceptable to me. But um, that's the reason why some are like this and others aren't. So, um, if you like the video, like, share, comment, subscribe, anything you do helps, and I will see you in the next video, and yes, I am still kind of upset that, um, I fell down today, um, with coins in my pocket, because again, as you can see in my, uh, Camel Crush review, you really couldn't see the damage that was done when, uh, this Zippo landed, um, in my jean pocket onto pavement, but, um, as you can see, there it is no longer perfectly flush. I mean, all the silver is still there. It didn't like nick off pieces of silver, it just nicked inward some of the silver. So it's all there. It's just, you know, it's not nice and perfect anymore. But again, this is a carry Zippo. It's starting to tarnish in areas, which I don't know if you can really see. You can't really see it on camera, but where they welded the hinge onto this Zippo, it's starting to tarnish already. And it is also starting to tarnish a little bit right there, which you can see. But again, I don't mind. I'm going to let this tarnish because even when it's tarnished, it's still going to have that um, undertone of white glow. So anyway, guys, that's going to be the video. Again, if you like this video, like, share, comment, subscribe. Anything you do helps. And I will see you in the next video.